Welcome back. Now we're going to dive into level two of the model. The regressive pole is hunger. Progressive pole is affirmation. And the principle is play or engagement. And the feeling at this level is hurt. We all have hunger. And I'm not talking about the physical hunger. I'm talking about emotional hunger. We all have hunger to be loved, to matter, to feel okay. And our choice is to choose to affirm ourselves. When our hunger isn't reciprocated, we feel hurt. And oftentimes hurt is a difficult feeling to feel. But when we do feel hurt, we have that choice to affirm ourselves. We can also go for affirmation from other people as well. And the principle, this principle of play and engagement is really a here now interaction with yourself, with another person, with nature, with a pet. But the key point is it leads to nourishment. Nourishment is what we really need to feed our soul. A big skill here is just learning to say ouch when we're hurt. It's a very vulnerable thing to do and to do it without punishment, without a payback, just to say, ouch, that really hurt my feelings. Just by acknowledging your hurt, you're already making that move towards affirmation. As an example, being the CEO of my own company, of course I feel hungry. We all do, as I, as I already mentioned. But my job as the CEO is to affirm my employees, to offer affirmation to them. So if I go to work hungry and I'm like, affirm me, affirm me, affirm me, that wasn't the culture I wanted to create. I needed to get my affirmation externally from my wife, from my friends, from my family, from my coach. So when I came to work, I was already full. And so I could just drip that affirmation on the organization, affirm my employees, and really make them feel good about what we were doing in our company. As a personal example, you know, back to my family, I had a really hard time just saying, ouch. You know, my, my younger daughter, Hannah, and I, we would, we're the scrappier two in the family, and we would pick fights for the whole family and get in these fights, and they would escalate, and I would get angry. And it was really a skill for me just to say, ouch, that hurt my feelings. And to be in relationship with Hannah just with that hurt, not try to punish, not try to pay her back, but just say, ouch. The context is we were both hungry and we both wanted to be affirmed. She wanted to be affirmed by me and I wanted to be affirmed by her, but instead we would fight instead of just affirming ourselves, affirming when we hurt each other's feelings and moving on. And we've been able to get much, much closer over the years and just bringing ourselves together, you know, by acknowledging the hurt. We often hurt those that we love the most because those are the ones we're looking for affirmation from. So just this awareness of your hurt, ability to affirm yourself, especially in the face of someone else not affirming you, is a real skill that we're working on here. Between now and next time, see if you could be aware of your hurt. What are you hungry for? See if you can actually step back and affirm yourself, especially in the case where someone's not affirming you. And see if you're nourished in your interactions. Remember, this is a new muscle you're exercising. Be gentle. Just try to notice. No judgments, no punishment. Just notice. We all break down. So have fun with it. And until next time, love lionheartedly. We must open ourselves to our pain if we are to discover our true vocations in life. At the center of our pain, we glimpse a fairer world and we hear calls. When we are able to keep company with our own fears and sorrows, we are shown the way to go. Our parched lives are watered and the earth becomes a greener place. Hope begins to grow and we are summoned to the work that will give us a feeling of wellness, and make possible that which we envision. Pain keeps us asking, looking, willing to make the journey into self.
Morton Kelsey, and the Ford to Cry Pain, Cry Hope by Elizabeth O'Connor. Notice your affirmation. Are you affirming yourself? I didn't do the uh, other right. part. I know what you wanted, and I thought of it after. Okay. See what I, I see? What I have to deal with? <laughs> it's just abuse of the talent.